Hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to the fifth episode from the Pacific. This is already the third episode I'm reacting to in a row, but the show is really good up to now. And I saw that episode three and four were like rated a bit lower. They were like seven point something, but now episode five is rated 8.1 again. And all the episodes coming after that are gonna be rated over an eight. So we're really reaching the high rated episodes right now. Before I start, I wanna tell you that you can already see all of these episodes if you want. They're already available on my Patreon. You can get early video access there. And you can also see my full reactions to all the episodes. So check that out if you're interested. And if you're excited about this video or you're liking my Pacific reaction, please consider subscribing to my channel. So I might see you back sometime. That would really mean a lot. And yeah, now I'm just gonna watch this episode. The last thing we saw was that Lucky went to uh, some sort of hospital because he had the problem with like peeing himself and all. Uh, he stayed there for a week and their whole solution was like, just stay out of the rain, stay dry. And he kind of did that now. So I hope that solved it because it's not very convenient if you keep peeing yourself while you're at war. Anyway, I'm gonna watch this episode now. So let's go. Big star, Miss Grace. How's that, fellas? When do we say back the attack? Oh, Every him. chance you get. Kiss on the cheek and we gotta go. Hold that. This is a shit. I was really uh, scared we weren't gonna see him anymore, so... Excuse me. I don't believe this. You're John Basso. I'm gonna be in the Marine Corps. Boot camp's a breeze. <laughs> he got famous. You coming? Listen to your NCOs. Thanks. What's an NCO? You handle it well. Membership in the famous people's club. Just, uh... Famous people club. <laughs> What kind of message is that? His brother comes to visit me. Am I allowed to even speak to you without saluting? <laughs> Early morning, Sergeant Pazalon. Hey, morning, Al. Hey, how about some breakfast? I got a train to catch. Come on, Al, can swing it right out. Breakfast? Absolutely. One of us has to go back to the Marines. Oh, to the he really got like, became like a celebrity. Thanks, so. Al. Is he called Al as an Alfred, John. as in Batman's Ribbon. butler? I go to the movies, and who shows up in the newsreel? You, Mom, Pa, John Bassalone, babe. That was crazy. Can I ask you a question? How scary was it? Guadalcanal. I hope I can be as... George. I don't feel like you need to prove nothing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, there he is. Tim from Jurassic Park. But he was called Eugene here, I think. I feel like he's gonna die. Like the whole thing about his parents not wanting to like let him go there. And then in the end he does and I think he's gonna die like a tragic death or something. I don't know. And something's gonna happen with the heart, probably. Looking for how company? Well, yeah. Take that, you fucking chap. <laughs> <laughs> Is that their company? <laughs> no. Hello? Oh, Scared Rami. <laughs> These guys are supposed to be 60 mortars. That's snafu. That man's the law. Now I'm cool for Bergen. Find yourself a bunk. Nice welcome. Taken. Taken. So they gotta sleep on the floor? I'll show you around. Find you another tent. <laughs> What's your name? Capital D, small E, capital L, small U, Delo. J Delo. In Guadalcanal? Gloucester, capital G, small L. <laughs> Grab a rack in that second tent over there. You know where I can find a how company? Somewhere over there. It's so great they don't even know where to go. Oh, oh, oh. you know this guy? Oh, he's back. Have a good vacation. Anything to get away from you bastards. Yeah. Oh, geez. <laughs> What's in this? When it tastes this bad, it's hard to tell. How does water taste that oh, bad? <laughs> Christmas comes in June. For Hoosier. He's always saying his prayers, making his bed. <laughs> Heavier reading. With pictures. Something for understanding. Why do I feel like he's a comic guy? <laughs> Is he gonna see his friend? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Get up off my deck. Captain Haldine, sir. What's this about, Marine? I'm right of creating new to the core? Yes, sir. Um, I mean no, sir. You fellas know each other? Is this some kind of conflict resolution? Old friends, sir. Friends, huh? That explains it. As you were. <laughs> but 
try not to dislocate a shoulder or break an arm. <laughs> that was so cute though. They were, or like he didn't even realize, but he was so happy to see him. Which I get. I think they were also riding each other and all, so. <laughs> I can't believe it. I finally get here and you go home. Oh really? Can you leave Mortarman just like you? Rain again. I can't see any more rain, Jesus. Oh now they want it rain. <laughs> Instantly getting ready to shower. <laughs> Brushing teeth and all. Ah, uh, in the middle of your shower. Oh, for heaven's sake. What is that, baby? Oh. <laughs> yeah, but that might be worth its weight in gold someday. If you're hungry enough, somebody want to trade for it. Do not trade this. Ever. Three you boots go with snafu. You heard it, Sergeant. Now. You assholes are gonna miss cleaning out oil barrels pretty soon. No smoking. <laughs> he really is the rebel in this. This in your pants, crying boo hoo. Why don't you grab a brush? Give us a hand. Fuck that shit, I scrub drums for no man. Can we take a break? Do whatever you want, this ain't my detail. I was supposed to dump y'all off here, then report back to the CP. So he's just fucking with them? Here. I like to watch the new guys sweat. <laughs> Jesus, Sid. You can have this one. Here. Thank you. What's it like? I slept with a woman in Melbourne. Well, that's that one, right? And then way down there, as far as you can go. And that's what it's like. That you can never imagine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Don't miss you, Sid. Wonder if he's ever gonna come back. You'll be alright. Will he be, though? Movie night. Dear Christ in heaven, would you look at her? I don't know how to kiss her. They're all so invested in the movie. Here we go. <laughs> Fire! Whoa, I only just realized something. Wait, now I gotta look up who, who he played in that movie. Rami Malek played Freddie Mercury. And <laughs> the other guy played John Deacon. <laughs> they were in the same movie and they were... Queen members! <laughs> Why did I only just realize that? That is so funny! Some rats. Wait, they're gone? Is his friend gone already? The angels are shipping out. You might catch him back down at the docks. Without saying goodbye? Too late! Aww. I also kind of feel like he's gay and in love with his best friend. It's just the way he's constantly looking at him. Um, like already in the first scene, I kind of got a vibe. And like when at the movie, everyone was cheering when the woman was on screen and all, and they were like, yeah, go ahead, fuck her. And he was just staring at his friend. Have you heard the latest about the other war? We invaded Europe. Oh, well, unless you got a brother over there, most guys don't give a shit. My brother landed in Italy, tank battalion. <laughs> so he does have a brother there. Well, I guess you get to give a shit. Is that because of his heart that he's not like drinking and smoking and all? You're a believer. Yes. Question. God created everything, right? The heavens, seven seas, sleeping beauty there. <laughs> sleeping beauty. <laughs> mosquitoes. Yeah, mosquitoes a little tough to understand, I guess. But God created Japs too, right? I mean, Knew he was gonna go there. So what do you believe in? I believe in ammunition. <laughs> so I'm not on speaking terms with him anymore. <laughs> Next time you're having a chat with the old geezer, can you ask him to sink a few Jap transports and have them all fall on their bayonets so I can get the fuck out of here? He and used to go to church and all, and now he's just like, yeah, we're not in touch anymore. Good luck. Let's get it done, Eugene. Second squad, fourth boat! Pretty scary. It's gonna be his first battle, right? They're the guys from Queen! <laughs> I don't know, ever since I realized that, it's just extremely funny to me. I don't know why. Uh. Here we go, boys. Damn. And that's just like the first thing you see. These look like tanks, but... Boat versions of tanks. He just wants to look at what's going on. Oh, 
that's, oh. Imagine just like that's your first battle and then you're in that boat and your boat just gets blown up. <laughs> Fucking hell. Who is that? Ooh, that was was that Eugene? No, right? Oh, just getting out of there is already like a bigger struggle. This feels a lot harder than when his friend arrived on the beach for the first time. Oh, this is so scary. Also feel like this is the first battle which is in broad daylight and not in the dark. Oh my god. <gasps> he was just trying to help him and then he got sh Oh, this is a slaughter. Poor Eugene, his first battle. Yeah, I guess this is what your parents warned you about. Oh, they're also there. This is so messed up. I feel like this is the first battle where we've actually seen them struggle. I'm not saying they didn't in the, in the first few battles, um, but just like what the show makes us see. Also, it's so dark here suddenly. What the hell? I'm sorry about that. This is insane. I'm starting to understand why this episode is rated so high though. It's really good and really heavy. We're supposed to hook up with the rest of the battalion in the southern edge of the airfield. In the brush line. Got it. I feel like this battle is also going on for so long. Like it was such a struggle to even get off the beach. Yeah, he's gonna bleed out. Hey, everything's gonna be fine. Gordon! <laughs> the fact that Eugene is still alive is... I don't want to say surprising, but... Very well of him. <laughs> gonna get blown up I feel like oh did it just blow itself or oh ah yeah I feel like the only um, way to fight a tank is with another tank like as a person you're not gonna stand the chance He's not very nice, is he? Oh. oh. Just stepping in some hands. Luminous 30 yards out from your hole. Password's Lilliputian. Lilliputian? Hard for the Japs to say? Hard for me to say. <laughs> Hard for everyone to say, I guess. I don't even know what it means. Shit, I forgot about that. What guy? What is he doing? Rich boy. Ew. Shit load of gold in this team. Thirty bucks an hour. He's a bit weird, isn't he? Look at that. You ever been to the Grand Canyon? Pictures don't show it. You have to be there. Looking down into it. Fuck up, you idiot. You have to go out there tomorrow.
Wow. Okay. That was a lot. So, um, like I said, I get why this episode is rated higher now. That was a really heavy battle. And it was just like the whole idea of this kid we've seen in the beginning who was not allowed to go to war because he had heart problems. And um, he finally enlists, he finally gets there. And this is his first battle. And I think that's the case for a lot of other people that that's like their first battle. And that's where you end up instantly. Um, like I said before, we had the first episode and they arrived at that island and they were like, huh, what took you so long? And then they were just chilling there. I think that's a better welcome than uh, whatever this was. But yeah, like I said before, I feel like this was the first battle where they really showed like, okay, it's really hard for them to beat them here. And even though that might have been the case in the other ones too, they didn't really show it for my feeling. Um, and also this just went on and on and on. I honestly didn't expect to for Eugene to already survive all of that. I mean, he is like some sort of main character now, so I don't think he's gonna die now. But I feel like he's not gonna survive like the full war for some reason. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of fear for him. Also because the friend, he survived and... I don't know. I, I kind of I don't have to look at this as as like fully fiction because of course it's based on real people I guess too. So um, it's not like written to like please the viewers or anything. But still, I have a feeling like he's not gonna make it, and um, I would feel really bad for him. Whoa! I just looked this guy up, and apparently he's a writer, a pretty well known one I think. Oh damn! That that's really cool. Wait, I did just spoil myself though, <laughs> but yeah, still, because then he, he doesn't die, obviously, if he's gonna write books after this, um, but I just kind of had to know, because I, I felt like most of these people were just based on real people again, just like Band of Brothers, um, but, but still, I, I wasn't like fully sure, so I just had to look it up, like, then he's like the second guy who wrote a book, right, because I think Lackey also wrote a book, or did they mean him then? I'm not sure, but that's interesting. Yeah, I think this might have been one of the best episodes up to now. Um, I think especially because of the whole battle. It was so, like, worked out and all. And it was so, like, you really felt for them. You really feared for them. And, um, I mean, the other episodes, they were nice too. But the battles were really short. And then you had, the, like, the Melbourne episode. You had the sort of asylum episode. So... I feel like now we're finally back here and um, it's really heavy and I really feel for these people. So yeah, it was a, a nice episode. So I was not the only one who was thinking this. Freddie Mercury and John Deacon in another life. <laughs> and everyone's crushing on Rami and Joe. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I see. Especially Rami. Yeah, people are really um, down bad for Rami, I see. <laughs> But yeah, I, I wish I had a bit more to say. I looked up some comments because I was like, is there anything else I can discuss? But overall, it was just like, um, we kind of got to know more about uh, Eugene, like, or like where he is right now, what he's going to do. Uh, we saw this like fucked up battle, um, but that was kind of about it. Like it was a really good episode, but I don't really have a lot more to discuss. So uh, thank you for watching. And like I said before, there's already more episodes available on my Patreon it's gonna be lighter in here, I promise. The light is really ugly right now, but I had to record one more episode and it was so dark, but I was running out of time. So I was like, I can't fix like a whole light setting now. So I'm sorry about that. Um, but um, yeah, I hope to see you next time and then it's gonna be brighter. Then it's gonna be daylight, you know? I hope you liked this episode. Like I said, if you already wanna see more, check out my Patreon. You can also watch my full reactions to these episodes. Uh, leave a like if you like this video and let me know what you thought of this episode and of course don't forget to subscribe and then that was it Bye